Muzzle order season is always a special season. And this year was a little more anticipated than most. It was going to be my first whitetail hunt of the year. I was going to be in a new place with an old friend and we both had high hopes for a great week. The first thing I wanted to do, like I do on all hunts, is get my stealth cams out so they can start scouting for me. Having a couple quiet cat folders with us made it a breeze. In years past, I wouldn't hang a stealth cam unless I was walking in or out from a hunt just for fear of leaving too much scent, but not anymore. You know, I've been using these quiet cats for the last two years and they're an absolute game changer. We're probably gonna hunt this ridge tomorrow and we feel like we can go ahead and hang stealth cams tonight. We're not leaving any scent and we're not making any noise. I've got two more cameras I wanna hang, one here, one on the opposite ridge. We've got two giants that have been in this area. Hopefully the stealth cams will let us know where we need to be this week. This morning we woke up to 28 degrees and a hard frost here in Oklahoma. This is my first time hunting Oklahoma. I've heard a lot of good things from a number of people, but I've never gotten a chance to hunt until my buddy Travis gave me a call this year. He was a guide that I met in New Mexico hunting elk, and he's moved back to his home state of Oklahoma and started working with the Choctaw Nation. We're actually hunting here at Choctaw Hunting Lodge. It's 40 plus thousand acres of premium free range white tail habitat. And it is absolutely gorgeous. This morning we're sitting on top of a ridge just surrounded by oaks and persimmons. And the deer have just piled in from every direction. Mostly young deer, but we, we did catch, we did catch a pretty good buck for just a split second. He popped out of a little thicket made a quick scrape and then popped right back in, but I have a feeling this is going to be a phenomenal week. We've seen a little bit of chase and things are just getting started. The weather is perfect. The lodge is beautiful. And I am happy to be on my first deer hunt of the season. This segment is brought to you by Matthews Archery. Introducing the 2018 Triax. Stealth is lethal. We just got back in the same line we were in this morning. We hopped out for a quick bite during lunch. The temperatures have risen quite a bit. I mean, it's pretty warm out there right now. We didn't see hardly anything on our way back, but hoping it cools down, hopefully the wind calms down a little bit. That buck we just caught a glimpse of this morning, we rifled through some stealth cam pictures, and if he's the buck we think he is, he's a pretty good deer. We're hoping to get a better look at him tonight. He's got a broken tine. Got a milling around in there now after that doe ran off. That's a heck of a buck, man. He's got a broken four on his right side, but he's a he's a pig, he's a hoss. That was awesome. That's what the end of October, beginning of November brings for you. We just had a 150 inch deer. He had a broken tine off his right side, but it was a gorgeous deer, dog and does. The rut is just beginning. Today's day one here in Oklahoma, and I think we are gonna hit it spot on. That was awesome, he put on a show.
Man, he's got one heck of a left side, doesn't he? This segment is brought to you by Hawk Tree Stands and Accessories, Hunt from Above. At this point on day one, my hunt had really already been made. There were deer everywhere, and even some of the big boys had already made an appearance. I was just enjoying the show, and really hadn't even thought about settling the crosshairs yet. As the sun began to go down, I spotted a shooter in the prairie grass. It looked just like the buck I had seen earlier that morning. And just like before, he went to the same scrape and into the draw. As Zach and I were talking about packing up, camera light was just about done. I glassed the field one last time. This segment is brought to you by Vapor Trail Archery, innovators of limb-driven technology and the Pro-V Arrow Rest. Quit your crying. Vortex Optics and Accessories, the force 
in optics. There are so many moments while hunting that are hard to explain. Some are heartbreaking, some leave us amazed, and some are pure joy. When I lifted my binos to scan the field and saw our target buck just one day after we let him walk the night before, that was one of those moments that's hard to explain. He's gonna come up right behind those trees. And he 
showed up. He is wide. He is awesome. He is awesome. Your second night here in Oklahoma. This is my first time hunting Oklahoma. It felt like a great shot. He mule kicked. We'll find out in a minute, but I feel pretty good about that shot. I gotta give a huge thank you to my buddy, Travis Benes, who called me this winter. He said, I'm managing a new ranch, 40,000 acres here that hasn't been hunted in years. Choctaw Hunting Lodge and in the Choctaw Nation. I have seen more deer in two days than I've seen in an entire season sometimes it just goes to show what low pressure and proper management can do for you age structure we have seen i don't know how many shooters but we knew this guy was here oh i see him i see white belly he's right there oh Oh, look at this buck. Look at this guy. Oh, he is awesome. <laughs> that deer is awesome. Bladed front. He's huge. He is huge. First Oklahoma buck is a giant. <laughs> we saw this buck the night before. I, I said it again. I know I already explained it, but I, I can't stress enough how you have to pass the lesser bucks to kill the one you're after. This is the one we wanted. And now we have him. He is a gorgeous buck. I can promise you this. I will be back here hunting with Travis Benes in the Choctaw Nation at Choctaw Hunting Lodge for as long as I'm able to do so. There are deer everywhere. 40,000 plus acres, unpressured, and you can put age on deer like this. Thanks again to Travis Benes from Choctaw Hunting Lodge for giving me a memory I know I'll never forget. It's going to be a tough one to beat, but I guarantee we're going to try again next year. If you'd like to see behind the scenes footage and photos from today's episode, make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.